And we begin tonight with a major construction project that could be a life-saving game changer for drivers trying to get around Metro Detroit. Good afternoon, I'm Glenda Lewis. And I'm Alan Campbell, and it's a problem that was first exposed by 7 Action News. And tonight, the railroad crossing chaos downriver may officially be coming to an end. 7 Action News, the first to show you how that crossing on Allen Road in Woodhaven is putting lives at risk and impacting businesses. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaquette with the plans that will impact 30,000 drivers daily. This has been a nightmare forever. David Hensley has lived near this rail crossing on Allen Road near Van Horn in Woodhaven since he was 17. I've been stopped by trains for over an hour. 7 Action News first told you about troubling traffic delays preventing ambulances from quickly reaching nearby Beaumont Trenton Hospital. Today, driver D. Haven also forced to wait, much like people who work at Ford, GM, and FCA plants close by. It's really annoying having to wait for the train. It happens a lot, actually. At a press conference today, a new solution being revealed by Wayne County Executive Warren Evans, Congresswoman Debbie Dingell, State Representative Darren Camilleri, State Senator Stephanie Chang, and Woodhaven's mayor. A $39 million deal for a three-year improvement project. Today we are announcing an agreement between Wayne County and the city of Woodhaven for the Allen Road grade separation project. State Rep Darren Camilleri says as part of this elaborate grade separation project, where you see the train crossing right behind us will actually become a bridge and with this vehicle traffic passing underneath. We really got the attention of folks in Lansing, which we were then able to secure the $12 million that we got in the state budget this last year and then bring folks to the table to come up with the rest of the money. This will also help support economic development and prevent wait times of 30 minutes to several hours due to nine trains currently passing through. Natasha Barney with Beaumont Trenton says for a hospital, it can truly be a matter of life and death. In serious terms, that means that lives can be saved and people are not going to have delays in medical treatment when they need us most. The next step is county board approval and a bid awarded in the next nine months. From Woodhaven, Simon Shaquette, 7 Action News.